And what we do, we have a short keynote and insights into what the future of work might look like if there is a study or if there's something we maybe want to get some hands and then some facts and figures on. And we will do that with the managing director and CEO of Host Europe, it's Dr. Klaus Boyens, and he's going to show some insights um, from the study they did about the future of work. And furthermore, he has an e-commerce and online marketing background, so he's not only an expert in that field, but also is an expert in economic computer science. So kind of like getting all of the good ones and the both worlds in there. So please give a very warm welcome to the first speaker, Dr. Klaus Boyens. Good morning. Microphone works. That's great. Um, uh, Lufthansa. I need to pick uh, up that one because everybody is uh, picking on them. It's the small little um, secrets um, of the world is that I was booked on a um, Lufthansa flight from Cologne to Munich last night, and um, it was not cancelled. I think it was one of ten flights. Uh, the whole of uh, Germany that were not cancelled. Um, but the fun fact was that the row in front of me um, was empty. So the, the, fl the flight was not booked out. So a um, uh, little bit funny that um, Riot is talking about uh, train alternatives uh, on the very end, but the flights were not booked out. So I'm very uh, happy to be here um, with you. Thanks, um, Daniel, Hannah, um, Christoph, for having me. Um, has anybody heard of Host Europe before? So who's familiar with Host Europe, <laughs> roughly? No, yeah, not just now, of course, but um, okay. Um, so we are a Cologne-based uh, web hosting um, firm. So what we do is um, we provide domain names, um, web space, server capacity to small and, uh, and medium um, ent enterprises in various um, data centers across, um, across Europe. Um, and now you might ask, why, why are we actually um, caring about the future of work um, in particular? There's two reasons for that. Number one is digital is our everyday business. So um, our mission is, uh, that's really um, stated, we want our mission is to web enable um, small and medium enterprises uh, like no other. Um, that's our everyday business. And secondly, um, we heavily depend on the support of digital tools and processes um, to actually be functional. Um, to explain that a little is um, we are in our, the wider um, corporate group. We are with 1,000 employees across 10 locations, um, three countries, uh, three languages. So that's English, German, and Romanian. And um, for example, to, uh, this afternoon, 2 p.m., um, usually is our product status meeting. Um, and the typical setup of this meeting is we have two people from Cologne, um, two people from London, and maybe one or two people in, from Yash in um, Romania. Everybody's sitting in one virtual room uh, with no paper. So um, if you think about that. Um, that setup, if you want to do innovation or, or, or progress um, on your products, uh, 15 years back, that would have simply not been possible. So we were curious, how do others um, actually um, do that? What do the office workers themselves actually think? Yeah? That was um, our concern. So we actually asked more than 1,000 office workers across Germany, all ages, all genders, all industries, all uh, geographies, um, what their concerns on um, digital work was. We conducted 13 expert interviews and we consolidated that all into a report, which I will um, show some details in the next couple of minutes. Before I give some insight, though, I want to have your opinion on two of the most burning questions um, that we found as part of our study. So um, what I'd like uh, all of you to do is to go to that URL here, should you have wireless or internet, which I'm, I'm confident you are, um, and type in that code, and you will get to a survey page. Two questions. It should be rather straightforward. Does it work? Does somebody already completed the survey? Yeah. 
Okay, so there are the live results already, so we probably waiting. So counting on the on the top right, you can see the number of um, votes been given. It's still that's of course biasing the results. Right? I mean, if you show the results during the election, but okay. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I mean the trend is clear. Perhaps you can um, please go ahead with uh, with uh, casting your vote. Um, that is something that we found across all um, um, office workers, um, and I'm going to shed some light on this um, going forward. Um, that there is um, an increasing um, unclarity what is work and what is leisure, um, and many of our respondents have stated that that's not necessarily good. Not sure whether you want to um, have a look at the the, the, the the second question as well. I can imagine being told what to do by a computer in the future. Okay, so you can already see that's roughly roughly 50-50. And the German uh, poll that we did, we actually asked, um, uh, can you imagine to at least receive some of your working instructions from a computer program? So um, phrase a little bit more softly. Uh, but even there, 50% said, yeah, why not? So that's um, quite uh, quite interesting. So compared to the um, to the overall feedback that we've got, Chris, you can switch back to the um, thanks for for participating in the um, in the vote. Um, if you want to switch back to the PowerPoint, please. Um, that, that's what we've um, found as part of a, a say, more general um, survey um, on our website. Um, and what's funny is that the, uh, the results uh, from this audience are pretty much similar to the, to the, um, to the fact that we'd be able to, or willing to accept instructions from a computer. Um, but you are probably, as a much more digital audience, or already digitalized audience, um, you already feel much more that the lines between work and leisure are, um, are blurred. So, um, talking about the, um, the study that we've, um, we've conducted, um, uh, we've asked um, the thousand um, office workers several questions. Um, uh, particularly on whether they were actually happy to work digitally. Um, and we found um, five areas of conflict. Um, actually, in German, we called it Spannungsfeld. We didn't really find a good literal translation, even with uh, native speaker support. I don't know where Paul is. But, um, yeah. um, there, were, there are things that um, uh, are somehow contradictory. So we are... Um, assisting an enormous trend of things, processes, um, meetings, collaboration, being digitalized. Yet, many of the um, office workers are very are still hesitant to fully embrace digitization. And um, the hypothesis or the results that we found in the study is uh, that it is very often about convenience, um, that is a reason why people refrain from um, working digitally. Perhaps to, yeah, to share some personal experience here. Um, we, for me, the, most, the two most important things um, to make the 2 p.m. meeting this afternoon work, um, our product status meeting, is two things. First of all, we need um, a working video conferencing inf infrastructure. And the second thing is we need a very professional um, project and process and documentation management tool, which we do have in place. Um, how do we score on, on, these, two, um, on these two accounts? Um, we score very well in terms of the, um, of the project management tool, and we actually quite miserable in terms of the video conferencing. Yeah. And, the, uh, and this is a severe issue. Well, we have um, 
strong issues with making our video conference system work at all. So we often have bandwidth issues, um, the connection breaks down. Uh, if it's more than five participants, um, the line doesn't work. Um, and this, of course, leads to our frustration. Uh, so people actually um, revert to not calling or writing an email or uh, simply not um, interacting with our colleagues in England, in Romania, because the system's just not convenient. So, so convenience is, um, um, is, a, is a very, um, very strong issue. Um, also, um, when systems are, are designed from the top, top down, without getting user feedback um, on board, um, what we see is that we have, um, we run a danger to neglect user wishes. For example, for me, um, I have to say I, I, I'm a little bit old school. I like to read from paper. Yeah? So I'm not a good digital reader. So if, I will also always support at least to have one printer on the ground somewhere. Yeah? Um, that's my preference. There is other means of digitization, such as chat, which I'm refusing to use, which is totally vital to have our, um, uh, our developer community interact. So we have a very good chat tool. Um, and we still have a printer, just, just smile for my, um, for my wish. So um, the gist here um, of this first, um, uh, this first item, and we found that this is lots of hesitance to actually embrace digitization. We think it's, it's a lot of convenience um, and to, to convince um, each individual user and office worker to embrace uh, the technology he really likes to use. Second big um, area of conflict is that for some reason, everybody, um, everybody thinks that, uh, of course, digital literacy, so education and using digital media is very important. But yet, we are undereducated, particularly um, in Germany. So um, uh, what you see here is the so-called digital literacy um, score, where Germany is scoring only 51 out of 100. Um, with other countries, such as um, South Korea, uh, so, or some of the Scandinavian countries going much higher. At the same time, though, companies do not invest. Um, so 60% of all German companies currently do not have a structured program to invest into IT literacy. And also at schools, it is actually non-visible. So um, just another um, example, if I talk to my, um, to my babysitter, um, she says there's a total smartphone ban in the school. Um, now that's good or bad, um, but it's, it's definitely black, black or white. Uh, so what, what's not happening is there's no clever integration um, of smartphone into the educational everyday. Flexibility. Now, uh, I assume that this is, um, um, is a, a, really a trend among uh, younger workers. So many young faces around here. So flexibility for you. Um, is, is very important. It's a very generation-wide topic also. Um, yet, the issue is um, that most companies are not prepared in terms of equipment. So the fun fact here is that we have um, still 49% of all uh, companies or working places equipped with a fax machine, uh, yet other very important digital um, equipment is missing, particularly in terms of collaboration. It's not only companies who are not ready, um, it's actually um, us, the digital workers, um, aren't ready either. So why is that? Um, many of, of us who re revert to sort of working approach um, love the flexibility, but can we handle it? Yeah? So coming back to the first question that you've answered in the poll, um, uh, there's blur blurry lines, the blurred lines between uh, job and leisure. Many of us uh, simply do not manage uh, these boundaries well. At the same time, there is um, a social security aspect to that as well. So there's many concerned um, uh, labor law advocates um, and, and uh, trade unions who say, well, when you are actually ill, you cannot work as part of your, your crowd working um, initiative, um, and who's actually going to pay you for you? Who's going to take care of your pension? Uh, so there is a lot of unresolved questions here. Um, that are very important for these um, flexible workers to be resolved. ID security. Um, this is a very, very ambiguous topic. 
Um, we have recently um, started to host some of our um, um, website and service in uh, Strasbourg in France. Um, and we've received a very, very mixed feedback, to be, to be modest. So um, people really told us, how can you dare um, to um, actually host not in Germany? Um, um, so we, um, I could now take minutes around the super cool security and data privacy features of our new data center in, in Strasbourg. But at the same time, um, what I'd like to emphasize on, there is so many other topics that uh, we ourselves and our customers currently do not, um, uh, do not care about. Like myself, the cell phone that is um, right be behind um, the, uh, the stage here um, has all my corporate emails, and I do not have a pin protection on my cell phone, for example. Yeah? So that's typical. Why, why don't I have it? Convenience. Yeah? I have a Samsung, I don't want to do this, um, uh, this pin protection thing every time. Um, and if you look at the figures, um, there's a huge issue um, with the uh, individual employees here. Um, so not fixed yet. Everybody's aware that uh, IT security is critical, but who's investing? Then uh, roughly a month back, and this is the fifth and last, uh, last uh, topic, um, there was a um, RID Themenwoche, so a, a topic or theme week in first uh, German uh, television uh, around the future of work. And uh, they had something they called uh, Job Futuro Mart. And uh, has anybody assisted these programs, perhaps? A couple of you. Um, what you could do is you could actually answer uh, what's your job description and um, how much of your work can then be automatically done by some sort of robot. So I entered managing director and um, I earned 27% of my, um, my job time could actually be done by a robot. So, so it's 2 p.m. perhaps this afternoon, so probably around the, the minute the, the call starts with my colleagues in Romania, um, I should actually be done with a week. And they're happy for the beers then afterwards. Um, so the question is, should we, should we be worried? And um, uh, I'm very, very optimistic on this one here. Um, because people have been saying for the last 200 years that um, uh, progress and industrialization and now the internet is, is at some point going to cost, cost jobs. What the digitization is not going to resolve um, in particular is entrepreneurial responsibility. So a tool can never take on entrepreneurial responsibility. Um, so when we in um, at Health Duo, for example, um, have an issue to, or to resolve, we need an owner for that. We need an entrepreneur to do that. And it's simply not enough uh, to document, for example, uh, an issue in our project management tool, which is, we, we use Jira, and it's, um, it's become sort of a, yeah, um, uh, even a, a sort of lame word. We say, um, I've, I've, I've documented in Jira is somehow like, I, you know, fire and forget, I won't care about it. Yeah? So there is, um, Putting it into Jira is not enough. Um, you really need um, entrepreneurial responsibility also um, to make the very hybrid setup we, we in our company have work. Yeah? So that's very, very important. Um, and uh, one of the experts in our, um, in our study, he said, um, there's so many things still, uh, so many human talents uh, that we obviously will never be able to, to substitute that are more necessary going forward, um, the more complex, the more digital, uh, the more hybrid the world is, such, a, such as vision, empathy, crea creativity, um, that seriously, I'm, I'm not bothered about, um, about our future. So that was a very, very quick um, uh, look at the five, um, tension or uh, conflict and, uh, that we found. Um, there's much more detail um, in the digital um, working study um, that, uh, that, we've, uh, that we've done. Um, and I would really like um, uh, to invite you to look into our, uh, onto our website. We have a landing page it's called digitalesarbeiten.de. Um, uh, um, it is in German. I think we don't have an English version, I think, at the moment. Um, so go to digitalesarbeiten.de, download the studies for free, um, and uh, work through all of the expert interviews. Um, there are even more findings. 
And there are a couple more questions uh, on this page here where you can uh, cast your vote again. You were gonna, were you gonna find the two questions as well that we had in the very beginning. Um, but uh, it's really uh, worth a read. Um, and yeah, really, I'm really confident that uh, there is a good way forward and you need to resolve those, those uh, conflicts. That's it, so um, thanks for having me and if there's any question, very happy to answer.